Welcome to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker. I feel like I tell you that every single time you watch this. So if you're back again, thank you so much for checking out The Average Drinker. I really do appreciate you. But this time, it is time for another this or that. So if you're watching this one for the first time, Bill usually picks, not usually, Bill picks me two bottles randomly off the shelf, pours them for me blindly, and that's why we call it this or that. I gotta pick one, I'll tell you what I think of them, tell you what they smell like, tell you what they taste like, and then I'll pick one that I think is the better one, and then we'll figure out what they are. So here we go, without further ado, I'm gonna start with the glass over here on my right. So let me take a little sniff of this. Oh, it smells really nice. Mmm. Okay, right off the bat, I'm gonna 100% tell you this is a bourbon. If I'm wrong, well, I've been known to be wrong. I've told you that before, and I have been wrong before, but it's not happening this time. Oh, I get caramel, a little bit of salted peanuts, a smidge of vanilla, Ah, oh, a little bit of citrus, but definitely, definitely some of that like dusty peanuts. See, oh yeah, the more I smell this, I'm getting like hardcore dusty peanuts. It smells really nice. I keep on looking off into the distance because I heard a weird noise and I think it's because Bill just jumped in the shower. So who knows what, if you heard something weird on the camera, that's why I don't know how much this mic picks up. It might pick up something, it might not. Anyhow, uh, this one definitely smells to me like a Jim Beam product, but we'll see what it is. I'm gonna take a swig here. Oh, that is so nice. So nice. It's got some proof. I'm gonna say that this one has got like somewhere between 110 and 120 proof. I get those same flavors, it's super sweet, that I got on the nose, on the palate. That caramel and vanilla, dusty peanuts, like salted dusty peanuts. Um, caramel, maybe a little bit of orange, but mmm, that's so nice. Oh, I like that one. That's gonna be hard to top, that's really good. Ooh, it warms nicely in my mouth, warms down my chest. Tastes, it's really, really sweet. Doesn't dry, it is really nice and oily on my tongue. I like that. Whatever that is, Bill did a good job. He didn't trick me up this time. That is definitely 100% a non-finished bourbon. I need to try the second one, but I'm gonna have to sneak off the camera and grab my water bottle because, well, I forgot to put it up here. I need a sip of water, so hold up. All right, now it's time to try this one over here on the left. This one has a little yellow dot on it, so we'll see what it is. This one had a blue one, this one has a yellow one. On the nose, it's not nearly as intense as that first one. I get a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of oakiness, maybe some caramel, like a little bit of caramel. It's way more mild on the nose than this first one. That's gonna be hard to top. Like it's very faint compared to that, definitely not the same family. Ooh, I do get some cherries on this. Some dark cherries. Ooh, that's nice. On the nose, definitely a bourbon. Definitely a bourbon, so we're keeping them both bourbons at least. Let's take a swig. Oh, that smells like cherry, cherry cola on the nose. Cherry cola. Makes me think of Stag Jr., but I could be wrong. I hope it's Stag Jr. Let's take a swig. Oh, so nice. That is delicious. Cinnamon, cherry, vanilla. Mm, it kind of reminds me of Remus also. It tastes, mm, I gotta give that another swig. It's like a red hot cherry, cinnamon, vanilla. Mm. It's so weird because right up front on the tongue, it feels like it's gonna be a lower proof. 
and then on the back it warms into this like cinnamon red hot burst not it's definitely a lower proof in that first one if I had a guess it would be like somewhere between 100 and 110 but could be wrong oh cherry vanilla mmm it's nice this is good mm. oh okay this is hard because I have to pick one or the other and I honestly don't want to do that because they're both so good. They both are good in their own way. Oh, that is hardcore salted peanuts. Like salty peanuts. It was like Texas Roadhouse on the ground. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Bill and I have been playing a lot of these games where we pour blinds. And we don't record them, but we've been doing a lot of blinds. And so I'm trying to get my palette up. Because if you haven't seen in my past videos really want to become the next world's top whiskey taster. So I'm doing everything I can to practice and try more and, and really spend time with each glass and get all the flavors out that I can. But the, the longer I get into this journey, the more I love it and the more fun it is and the more exciting it is, the more flavors I pull out of each whiskey that I drink. So I love it and this is why I love whiskey so much because six months ago, things didn't taste like they taste now and that's the fun of it. Like your palate, once it continues to grow, it will just keep growing, I guess. So, so fun. Oh, I really need to rank these. Oh. I mean, holy moly. These are both freaking delicious. Oh, that's like going to be nearly, oh, so nearly impossible to pick one or the other. I think for me, I'm going to pick... The one with the yellow label over the blue one, mainly because I, I like that cherry vanilla flavor a little bit more than I like that salted peanut flavor. But it's still, I, I don't want to pick one or the other. I know this is this or that. I don't want to pick this or that. I want them both. They're both delicious. I'm going to drink these. I would drink these every single day of the week. I love them. I think it's time to figure out what the heck these are. Like, really? I don't want to, I want to know. So now, I need to get the note card. There's a note card up here that Bill left for me. And it's time to figure out what they are. I'm ready to flip it over, I'm so excited. Okay, I wanna see what they are. But like I said, I'm gonna go with this one on the left with the yellow dot. You see the yellow dot right here, yellow dot. I'm gonna go with this one over the one on the right with the blue dot. See the blue dot? Okay, so yellow on the left, blue on the right. Let's flip this card over and figure out what we got. All right. What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy, wow. Well, wow. Wow. Whoa. I am mind blown right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm really mind blown. Okay. Here's the card. You probably can't read it. I'm gonna put it as close as I can, back it out just a little bit. Okay. Whoa. I'm literally mind blown right now. Okay, so on the left, on the right, I said this was my second favorite. Said it tastes like dusty peanuts, salted peanuts. It reminded me of a Jim Beam product. Well, in fact, it was actually Maker's Mark Cast Strength. I said it was good. And I have been one to be picking on Maker's Mark before. Over here on the left, we've got Weller Antique 107. So I, I don't love Weedids as much, but Weller Antique 107 is great, super delicious. And I did get that cherry vanilla that I typically get out of Buffalo Trace products. I need to grab these bottles. Well, obviously we know Weller Antique 107 is 107 proof. I, so that means I got the proof right on that one and heck yeah, I feel like proud of that one. But the one on the right over here, Maker Smart Cast Strength, I don't remember what it is. I'm going to I'm going to pull it down because I need to guess. Hold on. What? It's less than I thought it was. Oh, man. Where is Weller Antique All right. Well, let's scoot these over because once again, I was wrong. So, right here, Weller, I mean, sorry, Maker's Mark, Chaos Strength, 
It's actually 110.9 proof. Check that out right there. I'm surprised by that. For being cast strength, I thought it would be a little warmer. Strength's a little bit warmer, but I do not get that Sharpie note that I typically get out of Maker's Mark. And honestly, I like this bottle. It's pretty good. Two weeds. come on, man. Bill, you're just trying to pick on me. Again, Weller Antique 107, like I said. Good bottle, like it. It's really good, actually. And I said I would drink both of these. Pleasantly surprised. The blinds always win because you never know what you're gonna get. And they always trick me up. So, as always, thank you so much for watching The Average Drinker. I'm Dara. If you haven't checked out my Patreon, check it out. There are some really cool things on there. Giveaways, samples, Glen Karens. I don't know, there's some really cool stuff. So go find that link, check out my Patreon. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It makes this more fun and I'm really excited at how much this channel is growing. And if you like the video, like it, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Do you, I mean, do you like either one of these bottles? They're pretty good bottles. Can't go wrong. I mean, either of these are really freaking delicious. And I said I would drink these every single day of the week. So I'm gonna eat my words and I'm gonna be drinking these, well, at least for right now. Cheers, see you next time on The Average Drinker. I'm Dara.